Hello and welcome back. Like I've been saying for a while now, they're going to outlaw political opposition to the Democrat Party. I present to you a former Naval Chief Petty Officer turned MSNBC intelligence analyst and Ukrainian war LARPer Malcolm Nance. Ukraine's unique territory. There'll be three. Stand by. Wait for one more, they're fired in yeah, 30 second intervals. They fire them in 30 second intervals. Smoke. There we go. Stand by. Three, cruise missile caliber. Good. Stand by. We'll dive right into this clip after I quickly tell you about this free coin offer from protectthesecond.com. Shipping and handling not included. The recent shootings, especially those in schools, is bringing about stricter gun reform bills. Congress has just passed the most significant gun reform bill we've seen in decades. But as we all know, bad guys will always have access to guns. Unfortunately for law-abiding citizens, the Second Amendment has never been more at risk of being infringed than this year. A new site is showing their support for the Second Amendment to create change and you can get in on it too. Get your free Second Amendment coin today by going to www.supportthesecond.com. That's www.supportthesecond.com. Support gun owners, gun rights, and the Second Amendment. As a terrorism expert, I usually remove phrases like Muslim or Christian or Catholic or white when I'm talking about extremists. Most extremists have an ideology that they're following. But here in the United States, to characterize that, to understand just what kind of terrorism we might be dealing with, you have to actually label it according to what as white extremism. Because we have 30 percent of the population of the United States who no longer believe in the democratic norms that were established at the founding of the country. Let's just be honest about that. percent why that's about the percentage of white males in this country according to the totally not racist or insane malcolm nance nearly all white men in america are white extremists and are a domestic threat white men in america no longer believe in democratic norms of course he is a shill for the party that currently promotes democratic norms such as throwing out the electoral college demanding that people in the country illegally be allowed to vote revoking the second amendment tearing down the monuments to our founding fathers, opening the borders, declaring the American flag a symbol of hate, expanding or abolishing the Supreme Court, injecting far left Marxist ideology into every institution, limiting free speech, specifically of their critics and ideological opponents. And maybe worst of all, because they're supposed to be the guardians that prevent these things from happening, using the fourth estate free press as a tool to keep democratic power permanent and propagandize all who oppose them. Case in point, here's what Don Lemon has to say. Republicans are doing something that is very dangerous to our society. And we have to acknowledge that. We have to acknowledge that as Americans. We must acknowledge that as journalists. Because if we don't, we're not doing our job. The job of journalists is to hold power to account. And currently, that power is Democrat Party power, who control both the White House and Congress. Now watch Lamont's mental gymnastics as he rationalizes being a party propagandist. We cannot sit here and pretend like, well, you, Republicans, it's a, cut them a break. Let's, we want to hear whatever. They have a lot to answer for in this moment. You have the inmates running the asylum, basically. You have the extremists. Because I know there are Republicans who are sitting out there now going, oh, no, Don Lemon, that's not what we are. You cannot expect Liz Cheney or Adam Kinzinger or, or Jeff Duncan to become Democrats no. overnight. They're not. They are Republicans. And you must allow them to be who they are. They just happen to be sober and smart. No! It's so obvious. Everyone must see the game here. The media is an obvious Democrat party tool. They have completely abandoned their fourth estate responsibilities. So they must justify it to their dwindling viewers and rationalize it to themselves by casting their critics and their political opponents as literally inhuman monsters that must be stopped. American democracy is under direct and immediate attack 
by people who would see 245 years of democratic governance destroyed. And it's just a matter of seeing who comes up as the provisional Irish Republicans in this story and starts carrying out acts of violence in order to affect change. So we are well on to our way to a multi-year campaign. That we're already two years uh, into this campaign where we will may have to fight they, the they in my title, and the they in my title who want to kill Americans are your neighbors. Wow, those are some real American democratic norms. Yes, yes, democratic norms do typically involve the media turning neighbor against neighbor, instilling a deeply dividing paranoid fear of being murdered by your white neighbor, don't they? This guy never recovered from the intellectual beatdown that he received from Ben Shapiro. 40,000 people did not assault the Capitol. Okay, that's just factually inaccurate. There are maybe a thousand people that is not making light of the evil of those people who all will end up rotting in prison as they should. How many people came to that rally? Were all of those people assaulting the Capitol? Is that they your contention? They all marched now? on the Capitol and then the leading they edge They all marched on the Capitol. The it's just inaccurate, Malcolm. Yeah, it isn't. No. Yes, no. it is inaccurate, Malcolm. Max, Ben. Well, well, yes, okay. you're not mentioning them. Malcolm, you have a terrible habit of conflating people who do actual violent activity with a broader rubric of everyone, for example, who voted for Trump, which was 75 million people. Critical race theory essentially argues that racism is baked into all the systems of American society and that any sort of neutral system is, in fact, a guise for racial power. If we agree that history should be taught, why are you defending critical race theory, which is not history? Did I not just say a moment ago that I think that term has been hijacked and that's not okay, what we're so talking about? Okay, so let's say critical race theory. Th I'm going to go back and repeat that I didn't say that. Okay. You, you, you are literally ah, defending that. critical race theory by redefining it as just teaching history, which is a cheap semantic trick and you know it. Is this right. what you do on your show? Because it sucks. <laughs> Excuse me. What? It's no accident that along with the completely baseless and broad accusations of racist, white supremacists, and domestic terrorists, they also refer to us as pro-Putin. They basically just say whatever will incite the most hate of their opponents. Mark my words right now. They will use all of those things as a pretext to shut down opposition media, and if they can pull it off, the Republican Party. Just use your imagination on what comes next. That's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please share it, hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure to vent some frustration by leaving a comment. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend.